In this video, I'm going to teach you how to connect Samsung Odyssey monitor to PC. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can easily set up any Samsung monitor that you have, including the Odyssey line. Connecting them is going to be exactly the same process. So all that you have to do is grab either an HDMI or DP cable. DP stands for display port. In my opinion, display port is going to be the best. Usually, it helps you achieve higher refresh rates while using the monitor's native resolution. However, HDMI is completely fine to use and you can choose whichever one is easier for you to access. But if you still have to purchase the cable, I highly recommend going with DP. And of course, if your specific Samsung monitor came with a cable then you can just use that one and it should be fine but if you want the best experience possible purchase a high quality dp cable so all that you have to do is grab either the dp cable or hdmi cable and plug one end of the cable into the back of your samsung odyssey monitor so at the back of any samsung monitor you will be able to find plenty of ports including of course the hdmi or dp cable port just plug them in there and you will be able to plug the other end into the respective place on your computer. So this is an example of how it looks. As you can see, it has many different ports, including the option to connect it to HDMI and DP. So plug it into any of these ports here. And for the other end, you have to ensure that you plug it into your GPU. If you have a dedicated graphics card, it is vital that you plug it into any of these ports on the GPU itself. So usually it will have a metal backplate and as you can see, you will have plenty of DP or HDMI to choose from. You will notice that in your motherboard, there might be an HDMI or even a DP port as well. You do not want to use this one. You should always prioritize using the ports on your graphics card and then connecting the other end into your monitor. If you do not have a dedicated GPU, then you use the one on your motherboard. You should never plug the cable going from your monitor into your motherboard. And as long as you avoid this mistake, you will be able to use your Odyssey monitor to the best of its quality. I hope I was able to help you on how to connect Samsung Odyssey monitor to PC. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.